Julius, congrats on the win, man. Uh, talk to me about how you're feeling. Obviously, a hard-fought victory in that one. Yeah, I'm really exhausted. Uh, I came in, I started striking. I felt uh, I was feeling pretty good. And the second he started shooting on me, I was like, oh, man, he's strong. And uh, I had to uh, – it's a weird game plan when you strike. You, you know you're not going to put every single thing in every shot. But when we started grappling, I had to put max effort into defending it. So it was weird. Uh, up and down with the energy and that started getting to me a little bit and that this happened a few times i don't know if adrenaline or what or no crowd or something but uh, i had to dig really hard at the end and uh uh at the end when it was third round i was started thinking don't think that's five minutes left of the fight just think five minutes of really hard workout five minutes of hard workout sounds much quicker than five minutes of fighting so i was just like just shadow box hard and just tough shots, pretend it's practice, and they'll come much, much quicker. And uh, uh, yeah, I won. <laughs> and uh, do you think that'll be something you focus on going forward, trying to get the cardio up? Or do you think it was just the pacing the way that that fight happened? I don't know. I think it's just like planets need to align in the perfect order for me to feel good. Because um, yeah, this happened every, often. And uh, I do train a lot on my cardio. I push myself really hard to do all the extra work. And sometimes I don't know if it's overtraining or what, or maybe something with food or maybe cutting weight. Uh, I'll, it's a process and you're never going to get it perfect. It's just with each fight, you maybe learn something, maybe change something, or maybe just happens out of nowhere, adrenaline or something, but you don't really know what caused this. So um, I'll just keep training hard, keep doing all the right things that I think are right things. And hopefully just to prevent this, maybe maybe I need to push a little harder. So um, just to simulate this exhaustion. And that's the, uh, the second fight in a row that you've handed a fighter their first professional loss, the yeah. third time in four fights. So I think that's kind of your MO now. You're going to be the guy to, to kind of spoil everyone. Uh, yeah. Well, why right not? Let's go with it. Yeah, my last fight, it, it looked good. Everybody thought uh, Jordan is going to be the next big thing. And I took it away from him. Same thing with this guy. And maybe that's what causes this exhaustion. It's like, you know, you're not going to walk through uh, simple guys. And uh, if they're tough, they're going to come at you. And um, uh, that's what my opponent did tonight. Whenever he knew I was winning exchanges, he came at me hard with wrestling and had to defend it 100%. So it's no more easy fights. They're all hard. And uh, I guess you got to feel this way if you want to win. So, I mean, I, I could have just folded sooner and gave him the win, but if you really want it badly, then uh, uh, expect to feel the way I do it tonight, which is just exhaustion if you, if you want to take that win, so. And last one for me, uh, do you feel like now it's time to, to kind of, you, you've played the spoiler, like I said, you fought two guys that had a lot of hype, but is it time to, to you think, fight a, a top contender in this division? Uh, I'm not good with making decisions. I'll leave this to my coach and my managers. They see everything. They. Um, because it's weird, I, I'm bad at looking at things, bad at looking at my opponents and thinking what they're good at, what they're bad at. Bad at. So um, I put uh, trust in my coaches. If they think I'm ready for the next thing, great, I'll go for it. And uh, it, my time will come. I, I, am, I'm not, I should not rush it. And um, yeah, just, just trust process. I'm not going to be done in a year or, or two years. I'm, I'm trying to do this for a long time. So my time will come. There is no need to rush. And um, um, just as long as you make the right little steps. Thanks, man. Thank you. Our next question will come from the line of Donna Corby. Go ahead, Donna. Hey, Julius, congratulations on the result. Um, I wanted to ask you about uh, when you were on the Contender Series, of course, you won your fight. It didn't, uh, it didn't end up in a contract. I know that you wanted to be the first Lithuanian fighter in, uh, in the UFC at the time. Do you feel like you've kind of been vindicated this last couple of results? Do you feel that you have now proven you should have picked me? You effed up, basically? Yeah, I mean, I kind of almost understand they had to make a statement because the Contender, for the contender Series... They have to show fireworks. But if you are a tough fighter and you are matched up with someone also tough, you might not see fireworks in that fight. And that's what happened with me. I had a tough guy and uh, we kind of canceled each other out. And maybe there was a little bit overthinking or something, but I knew they would call me and they called us halfway through my first Bellator fight. Uh, yeah, it's, I understand it's business. So they just kind of had to make a statement for that show. Oh, it must be fireworks. It does not matter if you're a good fighter. As long as there's fireworks, we'll sign you right away. 
if you are tough, but fight was, eh, we'll, we'll give you a call in a couple of weeks. And that, that's what happened. But I was already signed, so too bad for them. A year out of the cage, you're back in now. How difficult has this last 365 days been? Uh, say that one more time. How difficult has the last year been for you being oh. out of the cage for so long? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I had a fight. Then I was supposed to take short notice fight in uh, uh, Ireland in February. This is the day, uh, two days after I signed the contract, my opponent hurt his foot. Okay, no big deal. Let's move on to the next one. I had to fight in May. That's when Corona kicked in. Then right when I heard that Bellator is going to reschedule some fights in the middle of the summer, I suffered a bad rib injury. And like the starting of July, I hurt my rib. My rib popped off the cartilage and uh, so yeah the whole year was just my luck fight canceled the whole show canceled because of covid then my rib got hurt and i had to just wait and uh, i was i asked if i could fight uh, uh november 12th or 19th which is like the next week and week after because uh, but that's the time my rib would have been okay and maybe that's why i was tired because i only had six weeks without my rib being uh just out of place so I also think it was just a little bit short of a camp. But, um, but yeah, they man asked me if I could uh, take for, for this Thursday. I was like, okay, might as well. One week is not going to change anything. So it's been a crazy year, just my luck of fights canceling, opponents getting hurt, me being hurt. So it, it was not enjoyable, but uh, um, I think I deserve this victory just from what I've been through the whole year. We'll take a couple more here, Keith. Hey, Julius, it's Keith Schiller from SureDog. Congratulations on the very impressive victory. Thank you. Uh, my first question for you, uh, you know, the lead up to this fight, one of the things when people break down the skill set, they kept talking about uh, Alex's wrestling, but they didn't really ne neglect to talk about that you actually come from a wrestling background too. You wrestled, in, I believe you wrestled in college. How satisfying was it that you were able to actually win the wrestling exchanges against him? Uh, I think I gave him too much credit on wrestling, which I always do. <clears throat> I always give my opponents too much credit, and they think that's good for me because because then I'll fight to my maximum ability. They're not gonna catch me off guard or like or surprise me. So uh, I don't know. I think I should have wrestled more in uh, during my camp because again I was hurt. So my camp was only like. I was able to train well for like just six weeks. And if I'm not injured, then I just train all, all year round. And at the end, I just tighten it up. So um, I don't believe I won wrestling tonight. I have to give it to him. He was the one who was pressing me. I was just sprawling and going back to the striking. At the end, I took him down. But again, he was being more busy when it came to wrestling. So um, I just have to give that to, to him. Uh, my last question for you, and I think you kind of led into it very well. You're very humble. Like, I thought you won the wrestling. You got the only takedown, I believe. Are you worried that this humble attitude might be, might actually hold you back in getting the big matchups? Being that, you know, a lot of times the guy that's, you know, talks a big thing, talks himself up, kind of gets those big fights. Uh, no, I feel. In the sport, everybody's trying to be the bad guy. Like, how many bad guys can we get? Like, how many people can we have who, like, talk trash? It just becomes old unless you, like, really stand out in trash talking. But good. Uh, if you're a good guy, if you're a humble guy, everybody wants to work with you. If you're not an asshole, like, everybody wants to see you. You become people's champion. So, and I don't know how many guys who talk too much are people's champions. So, sure, they're going to get big fights. But I know I'm going to get big fights as well just because people are going to like me. They know I'm not going to be like just talking trash. I'm going to be like family friendly for everybody to watch on TV. So, and I think that what matters the most and that's going to come better than just someone who talks trash. So I think I'm doing the right thing. Last question, Dan. Uh, Julius, congratulations. Dan Roush from Full Contact Fighter. I know he's in a different league, but Jan Blankovic and a different country for that matter, but there's a lot of great Eastern European fighters uh, coming out right now. What do you make of that? I think it's awesome. Like it opens a lot of doors. I mean, um, in Lithuania, we have like some good fighters coming out, but they don't have that 
chance to be seen because they know overseas. So um, I think this opens the door and like me being, having one step in the door with Bellator and uh, we have a girl, Yulia, she's in the UFC and like another guy in UFC. So I think finally like us, we slowly bring in other guys in. And yes, again, people from other countries for them being in, it, it gives them opportunity because right now it used to be just people who are in the United States they get all the recognition, but right now, finally, okay, we have the resources and we have like the, um, whatever it is, a social media to look at the fighters from Europe and bring them in because they, they're just as good as everybody else. So why not use them? Great. Congratulations on the win, Julius. Thanks for the time. Thank you. Thank you.